In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the gas pressure on your LVG and your EEG fryers. I'm going to show you how to check both your static incoming supply pressure as well as your dynamic pressure, which is going to be your outgoing manifold pressure and how that reading is going to be much more important when it comes to our troubleshooting. To check your static incoming supply pressure on your Evolution Elite gas fryers, we're going to have to come over here to the behind the left side side panel and you'll see our incoming supply right here. On the bottom side, we're going to see a small tap port that we can use an adjustable wrench to go ahead and unscrew that and put in our manometer. Before we do that, we need to keep in mind that we need to turn off our gas supply supplied to the fryer. For LVG models, that port is gonna be behind the left side door at the front of the fryer. For natural gas supplied fryers, we're gonna be looking for an incoming supply of seven to 10 inches of water column. For propane fryers, or LP, we're gonna be looking for an incoming supply of 10 inches of water column. To check our dynamic manifold pressure, which is gonna be a much more important reading, we need to come in here behind our control panel and we'll see that port located right here on our manifold. And remove our screw for our manifold tap and then proceed with installing our manometer hose on our manifold tap. Now that we have our manometer hooked up, we can go ahead and check that dynamic outgoing manifold pressure and make sure that it's the 3.5 inches of water column for natural gas that we're looking for. Keep in mind for units that are gonna be propane, we're gonna be looking for that 10 inches of water column on the outgoing side. So we'll go ahead and turn the fryer on and we can take that reading. Now with our main burners on, we can see that our outgoing manifold pressure is at 3.5 inches of water column. If we were need to adjust this pressure reading, whether we need to increase it or decrease it, we would go ahead and come down underneath the control and we will see this cover located on the bottom here that we will need to remove the two 3 8 nuts with a nut driver that hold the cover in place. With the cover removed, we will now have access to our equalization breather hole. A straight bladed screwdriver can be used to undo it from the gas valve itself. Once this breather is removed, we can then again use our straight bladed screwdriver to adjust the pressure on our gas valve. Turning the screwdriver clockwise inwards will increase our pressure reading. Turning it counterclockwise will decrease our pressure reading on our manometer. The reason the dynamic manifold pressure is so important is because sometimes when we take a static incoming pressure reading, it doesn't tell us if we have a volume issue. And by taking that dynamic manifold reading, when we have all the fryers going at the same time, this tells us if we truly have a volume supply issue. Sometimes what can happen is the store supply lines can be undersized and we can still have a good static incoming supply reading, but we can actually have a bad dynamic pressure manifold reading because we don't have enough volume to supply the fryer with what it needs. So this shows you the two different ways of checking gas pressure when it comes to static pressure for your incoming and then also dynamic pressure for your manifold pressure, which is gonna be the more important reading that we're gonna be looking for. This will help you in terms of troubleshooting volume issues supplied to your fryer that can cause some erratic air codes.